Hey, good day, Andreas. This is Braden from Second Toyota here in Cairns. Just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2019 Mitsubishi ASX ES here in front of me. Uh, the one you inquired on for only 25,990 drive away. Uh, super low Ks, only about 33,000 on the clock at the moment. Absolute glamour of a car. I just thought it was a really good chance for me to take you through the whole car, uh, the service history, any little marks I can find. Pretty much just give you a, a bit more detailed view than what you can sort of only see from the uh, from the photos and that online. Maybe a bit of an idea who we are because I know you and your daughter are both down south. So maybe we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. So we're lucky enough to be uh, one of the biggest pre-owned yards for Toyota uh, currently in Queensland. Um, we've got two massive big pre-owned yards up here. You can even see our Toyota new car and Lexus showrooms at the top of the hill there. And our uh, service and spare parts departments down the road. And of course, like I said, we've got another yard at um, the close to the town at 77 Mulgrave Road as well. So maybe we get some glamour cars just like this one here. And um, yeah, can't wait to take you through it. So maybe we're going to start from the very, very front here, looking extremely clean across the passenger side front quarter, uh, around that wheel arch mat, looking very, very tidy down the bottom. You can even see yourself on those wheels. I just thought I'd turn those out so that we could see the, uh, the treads with me as well. Looking very clean. Uh, sort of struggling to see any sort. There's a couple of little stone chips just there and there, but not too bad. Absolutely stacks of tread left on these guys as well. So you can see yourself. I'll try and get that in the shade for you so you can actually see with the actual tread uh, measurement checker is just under there so just down the bottom you can sort of see it there so absolutely miles of tread left on these guys as well so very clean across the um, front there okay so we've got the fog lights everything down the bottom here too super clean couple little stone chips just on the front we've got down here on the front ones just those common ones from sort of rocks flicking up so a couple little ones on the front there and just a little one just there as well Otherwise, extremely clean through the rest of it. Across the bonnet here too, just a little minor one there, about the size of the top of my pen. Very clean across here. A couple just tiny little ones again, just on the front there. Mate, if they are a concern for you, let me know. We can always um, talk to management and see if we can even get those uh, potentially touched up for you. But very clean across that windscreen, no chips, no cracks, nothing like that. Same across that bonnet down roof there as well. So, very tidy the whole way down here. Even to the passenger side. So obviously got the blinkers down on the side there too. Uh, very clean on the inside of those handles as well for you. And right through to the back there too. I'll just quickly open this one up, show you the inside of the um, passenger front door. Tiny, tiny bit of wear just there, obviously from people just holding that handle. And only just very, very light probably even nearly coming up and a little bit of a smudge just there I'd say from people catching their feet as they're jumping in and out of the car but otherwise extremely clean through the inside of this one uh, you can see yourself right across that dash as well so no cracks no chips nothing like that very clean through the inside here no floor mats with this one so airbags on the um, on both seats as well on the front side here Clean through the back there. So while I'm here, I'll just quickly show you this service history as well. You've got all your books, your manuals, everything all on the inside here too. Uh, so I'll just skip to that first, the services. So these are real nice and easy, I can tell you. Um, you only got to look after these, uh, service these every 15,000 Ks or 12 months. That's so the beauty of the Mitsubishi. So I'll just skip to these, the important bit. There we go. All right, so originally serviced down in Aldertune, down in Maryborough, so down in Brisbane Way anyway, uh, at 14,000 Ks, 600 at 2021. And then, of course, that um, through us, Coral Motors. So that's us as well. That's our um, recon department at 33,000, so 22. So not due again for probably until uh, about 45,000 K. So absolutely ages left on that one. Bring around to the back here too. Show you inside the inside of this one. Again, very clean through here. We've got the child locks just there for you too if you ever need them. Electric windows on all four doors here for you as well. Again, just a little bit of scuff in there. Just from people's feet and that. Otherwise, exceptionally clean through the inside here. As you can see, uh, we've got a little argument separator there with the couple was in the middle. Uh, very clean. You can drop these down, so there is 60-40 split with these guys. So this is the 60% and that's the 40 over there. So you've got your little child anchor point right here, up here, and the same thing again on the other side as well. Um, parcel shelves just in the back, so we can take that out as well. I'll leave this down because I will show you how much space you've got once they actually are down. It's huge. Uh, looking very clean across this back wheel as well. Can't really see anything there either. Heaps of tread left on these guys too. Fuel's on this side as well. I'll show you where the release is for that once we jump in. And 
again, very, very clean across this rear bumper here too. A couple little sort of luggage marks just on the actual boot itself, but nothing too bad at all. So, got a little compartment underneath there, so we've got the spare tyre there as well for you. Looks brand new on that one. Jack, tools, everything's all around the outside. Pop that one back in there. A little bit of storage on the outside there too. And like I said, you can drop those down. This little parcel shelf just pops in and out as well. But very clean up on the inside there too. Super tidy through the back here. And those wheels as well. And like I said, mate, absolutely heaps and heaps of tread left on these guys. Tiny little scuff just there on the entry. And like I said, the, so this is the 40% side, so again, just that little button there pushes that one down. Yeah, massive, massive amount of space through there. You can take that parcel shelf out, it just simply pops out and in and out. Very clean through here, just a little tiny sort of chip there. Say so someone's either just tapped it with the key, trying to put the key in the in the slot there. And very tidy through here as well. So look, we're gonna jump inside, get this one fired up for you. Show all these controls in just a second for you. Okay, a tiny little bit of scuffing just there on the driver's side. It's the highest traffic area of the car, so there's always going to be a little bit there. Uh, you got your build plates and that down here for you too. Uh, height adjustment here on the seat there as well, so sure, people like me, you can crank that right up or all the way back down as well. Gives you a little bit better vision over the bonnet. Uh, just the one key with this one as well, so I'll start this up. Jump in, get that aircon going for us because it's crazy hot up here. Just straighten these wheels up. Yeah. All right, so as it sits right now, 33,666 kilometers, no engine lights, no dash lights, nothing like that. Uh, you can see your fuel on the right, temperature on the left there. Um, I'll just give it a little bit of a rev for you too. So amazing little economic cars these, they um, run on a really rag just about. Um, great CVT gearboxes in these as well, so really comfy to drive, um, awesome on the fuel as well. Really easy setup with the Mitsubishis. They give you everything you need, but they give you nice big buttons so that while you're driving, you're not trying to fiddle around with too much. So your cruise controls all up on the right here. Turn it on and off with that. Set and reset from that one there. On the left-hand side is all your Bluetooth controls. So you can uh, do your voice commands, answer the phones, hang up the phone calls from there. And of course, you've got a little mode button here too. So you can jump between your AM, FM, iPod, Bluetooth, USBs, the whole works from the steering wheel here. Same with your volume controls, changing stations, all that kind of thing. Up on the left-hand side here, all your wipers, pretty standard up on there. Uh, parkers, headlights, all that kind of thing from the right hand side, high beam blinkers, all pretty standard. Um, you do have a safety feature in this one, so you've got a forward collision mitigation in this. So you, once you've got a little sensitivity up in there, so you can actually adjust the uh, whether it's a uh, close, medium, or far away. So if basically if you're um, person in front of you slams on the brakes and you're not paying attention, the car will actually help brake and assist for you. Uh, this little scroll button down the front here is actually going to change the angle of the headlights. So you can scroll them up and down. So if you're driving along a remote sort of road at night time, you can crank that right up to four. And it's going to pivot those headlights up and get you a bit better distance out of the headlights. Uh, mirrors themselves. So over here you got a little power file button there so you can tuck those ones in for you. Um, on the front and the back, on either side, sorry. And your left side of the car, right side of the car are all adjusted from that one there. Central lock and all your window controls and window locks are on there for you too. Bonnet release is just down here, so I'm going to pop that one. I'll show you under there in just a second when we jump out. All touchscreen display here as well for you. So again, you can jump back to the home. All your multimedia, phone settings, everything's all in there. Uh, this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto too. So that little apps button's going to jump you into those. And you just connect your phone to the USB ports down here. So aircon, fan speed, temperature on the left, and of course where you want it coming out of there. A uh, little cigarette plug down the front. Stacks of storage for phones and things like that. Reverse camera up in the back there too, so you can physically see the back of the bumper there as well so once we're getting close to that uh, driveway and that um, that little red line is about a foot away from the back of the car so it's just a nice little distance and uh, safety idea so if you come up next to another car walls anything like that you can still walk between it open the boot all that kind of thing as well and uh, chuck that back in the park for you genuine handbrake here heaps of cup holders heaps of storage more storage in there another little power outlet in there as well they give you little recesses here so you don't go chomping any cords that you've got sitting in there as well your phones and things like that Adjustable seat belts, drop down handles on all four sides. 
Uh, you got the little mirrors and the lights on that side. And again on this side as well. So extremely clean car, super well looked after. Uh, like I said, they're only a little two litre motor, so super fuel efficient, but plenty of power there as well at the same time. And you can see, so it's been looked after amazingly. So, and I'll just quickly jump out, show you under that bonnet before we finish this one up. Gorgeous day here in Keynes, look at that, eh? So I'll lift this one up. And there she is, your little Mybeck motor, it's your Mitsubishi Innovative Vehicle Technology. Extremely clean in there, like I said, full service history, literally just serviced by us as well. So right across the five wheel there too. Can't ask for better than that. You can see your little daytime running lights here as well, so the little LED strips, so as soon as you turn the car on, they're gonna be on as well. They look great, but they look good, a little safety feature too. But look, this actually concludes our virtual tour, mate. Thanks so much for your inquiry, and uh, can't wait to hear both your feedback soon.